What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Outdoors with Creed. Oh, that lighting's kind of horrible. Uh, this one's a little different. I'm actually at my brother's place uh, to do a few things. First thing I got to do is I got to feed a snake. So, I don't know if you ever see it. There she is. She's a, a certain breed of a boa. Not exactly a boa constrictor, but she is a boa. Not really sure what name he done settled on, but so I gotta feed her. So let me go and get this. Uh, a few things have happened here recently. Pretty sure you can notice that hat right there. It says. Arkansas Bass Team Trail. Uh, last weekend, me and my brother, we fished a, a bass fishing team, Lake Hamilton, so we've joined that. I'm really excited because I've always wanted to start out fishing some tournaments and now I finally got a chance to do that. So, uh, but yeah, that's one thing. We've joined that. A uh, couple of little discounts and stuff like that that we can get as well as uh, just having fun fishing. But other than that, today's video is going to be about my favorite thing, monster bass. That's right. Uh, I didn't do one last month because I got really busy. We've had some really crazy weather around here and the weather just wouldn't play right and then on the days that I could have went out to do a monster bass video I had other things going on so I didn't get to do a monster bass video last month uh, I did use a few of the baits from my monster bass from last month didn't have any luck with them but nevertheless I love monster bass because I've gotten quite a few lures that I never thought that I would use and I absolutely love them. Uh, Y'all would bear with me. This is going to be kind of weird. I forgot my handstand for my camera so I'm going to try to do this real quick. I've got to get this prepared to feed the snake. Sorry if you can't see me but I'm trying to do this so that way I can get the snake fed we'll do one like this one and then I will get into that box over there so if you would just bear with me just one second I'll be right back guys Okay guys, and I'm back. Alright, and like I said, today's video is Monster Bass. This is my May Monster Bass box. As always, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can uh, check out Monster Bass. Get your own subscription. Uh, depending on what region you're in, they select the baits that are best for your region and the time of year that we're in. You have the pro box and then just a regular box the only difference is one box might have two or three baits more than the other uh, the one I have is their I believe their pro uh, their pro box $35 a month box full of baits in here for the southern region and uh, let's go ahead and jump into this I've already opened this thing up took a peek in it yesterday when I got it I was so excited, but I had to get back to you guys to do another one of these Monster Bass unboxing. Here we go. Uh, like always, inside the box, you see right here, it has a little calendar with a ruler. Uh, just some helpful tips on the different season periods, what the fish are doing, how, what, how they're acting, uh, as well as what baits would be best and when I say that what baits would be best it tells you uh, 
uh, let's see, like right now we're about to go into summer. So it tells you here that the water temperatures is going to be anywhere from 70 degrees and up. The life cycle is the spawning season for bluegill, shad, brim. Uh, and then it says lure suggestions during the shad spawn. Lures that mimic the size, shape, and color of the shad in the local lakes. Uh, during sunfish spawning. Lures that mimic the sunfish in the local lakes. And then mid to late summers, uh, lures that mimic the size, shape, and color of the shad in local lakes. So it kind of gives you a little description on what would be the best lures to use at particular times. Now, don't forget, fish don't look at a calendar and say, okay, it's late in the summer, I got to start acting like this and start eating this type of bait. Depending on where you live and how your weather patterns are going, I guess I could say, depending on what kind of weather you have for your particular area, is going to determine how the fish act. It's going to determine how the bass are acting, how the uh, shad, bluegill, and brim, how they're spawning and stuff. So keep that in mind. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Also, real quick, take your phone, iPhone, Android, whichever one, scan that and it's an app called Angler and you can go in there there is a tab for monster bass and you can do a uh, 20 fish challenge so you go in there and try to catch 20 fish I would even say try and use the base you get here in monster bass and have some fun with it but on the other side of this card is our normal card that has a list of all the baits that we get as well as how much these baits will cost you in one of your bait shops. So without further ado, let's do it. First up we have the B8 Lab Ultimate Strike Shad. So this is a little crankbait shad pattern. Uh, if you look at the side sides, not size, side of the box gives you a little description of each of the lures as well as what they can do. This one it's a half ounce and it dives anywhere from two and a half to three and a half feet deep. So it's a shallow crankbait, it floats, so when you cast it out, it's gonna float on top of the water until you start until you start cranking. And then it'll dive down about two and a half to three and a half, or I guess it says two and a half to three and a half meters. So really, really shallow, but I like the way that look. Uh Laser perch. Oh, never mind. Read that tag right there. That'll help you out better. Uh, half ounce, four to ten feet deep. And this color, color is called laser sad. So I might have that on and throw it. Uh, next up, we have a booyah squilcher, which is that bad boy right there, which is a buzz bait. Uh, comes in at three eighths ounce. And I'm gonna assume, and before I could even confirm it. It's called River Killer. Kind of looks like a like a shad to me. Kind of has a shad looking profile. Uh, it does, from what I can see, it does have a bait keeper on there. So some kind of a paddle tail swim bait or something like that as a trailer. But there's that. Uh, the B8 Lab crankbait here comes in at $9.00. And your Booyah Squelcher comes in at $8. Okay, moving on, we have this here, which is called the Chase Bait. Chase Bait Rip Snorter. Uh, this is a weedless bait, as you can see how the hook runs through the body and kind of hides up here in this dorsal fin. And then you've got the little blade down there on the bottom for a little bit more flash. And it comes with an extra hook so you can go pick between two different hook sizes. And this comes in at 16 grams or 56 ounces and about a four inch bait. But cool looking little swim bait. I'm definitely gonna throw this. This one is called Zombie. I'm guessing because of the color and the eyes, the way it looks. I guess if a fish was a zombie, this is what it would look like. So it looks pretty cool. Can't wait to use that. That comes in at 12.50. Wow. 
Whew. Good thing I got it in this box. Next up is the all famous Lunker Hunt. And this is called the Kraken. Um, it looks like this basically looks like a chatterbait. Uh, comes in a half ounce, has a big four aught hook with a weighted bait keeper. Let's see if I can. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in there really good, but there's a bait keeper in there. But uh, it's a jointed head uh, chatterbait, basically. Uh, this color is a black and blue color. Yeah, that's what it says, black blue. So yeah, I'm definitely going to throw that on. That one comes in at $5. That's not a bad deal right there. So, moving on, we have the original Stanley Jigs. This one is a casting jig coming in at 3 16 ounce. This is real light. I probably throw this on a spinning reel. This is probably what I would use as a finesse jig. Uh, this color says assorted colors. But, uh, looks like a black and brown. So your normal typical time you'd use a jig, like I said, I'd probably throw it on a, uh, spinning, but you might be able to get that on a bait caster. This comes in at $4, so $4 for that one. Next up is Rabid Baits, and as you can tell by those little bitty things, perfect for Ned. Uh, it says rapid crawl finesse action unlike any other so yeah I would definitely put that on a Ned rig uh, it's called monster red is the color and as you can see the claws are actually uh, look like they have buck tail hair so that's probably gonna give it a little bit more flare in the water that looks pretty cool I've actually started Ned rigging I'm getting pretty good at it I like it so I'll definitely be throwing these things and these come in at seven dollars next up is we have some tournament series hooks by sandbar tackle uh, looks like we have a two aught three aught and a four aught <coughs> oh, excuse me so yeah, there's three different hooks in here, three different hook sizes, a two odd, a three odd, and a four odd. So just some variety of hooks to choose when you're throwing your plastics. Depending on the size of your plastic is going to determine what size hook. So you got to be very cautious and uh, mindful about that. Make sure you match your hooks to your baits and vice versa. Match your baits to your hooks. You don't want to put a really big hook on and then you're trying to fish a small plastic bait. So make sure you match your hooks to your baits and vice versa whatever you got tied on if you got a small hook tied on make sure you match your plastic to that hook that way you get the best action out of that bait of course as always cool monster bass stickers and i guess this one is right now since we are still dealing with COVID 19 the monster bass has his surgical mask on everybody's trying to stay safe and last but not least in the box we have a pack Full pack of Strike King KVD Perfect Plastic Finesse Worms. These are the six and a half inch 12 pack, and this color is called Dirt. Uh, looks like it has a has a brownish color on the body, on the bottom, with a little bit of a I'd probably say watermelon green color on the top. Uh, finesse worms, good for shaky heads, Texas rig. Excuse me. Texas rig, Carolina rig, uh, Nico, Wacky, whatever you can think of. This worm probably will kill it fishing it that way. So this comes in at $5. I actually like Strike King stuff, so definitely know where that I'm going to be using this. And that was it for what was in this month's Monster Bass box. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a description in the description, a link, my oh, goodness, 
I will leave a link in the description box below so that way you can check out Monster Bass and get your own. Also check out the Monster Bass store for cool apparel and other lures and there's lures exclusive to Monster Bass. You gotta get them through Monster Bass because you can't get them anywhere else. So I'm looking forward to getting back out on the water. Looking forward to fishing another tournament. Uh, we do have one coming up June 6th, I believe. June 6th, and if I'm able to fish in that one, I will fish it, and I'll try to get that one recorded with you. Hopefully my brother will be in town so we can fish it again. If not, I'll have to find me another partner, but nevertheless, I will find somebody to get out there on the water with me, so that way we can do another tournament video, and uh, try to catch some fish. Last video I did, I'll try to leave a, uh, a link in the description box, or I will try to leave a link somewhere up here, somewhere up here, one of these spots. There will be a link to catch that video. Um, I only caught two. One was a white bass, and then one uh, small large mouth, but I had a ton of fun, lots and lots of fun. So I'm really excited about doing this again. So hopefully get another tournament in, some more video footage, and hopefully I get a chance to just get out and do some more fun fishing also. Uh, weather is still going kind of up and down for our area. Rain, sun, rain, sun. So I just have to try and pick a day when I got some good weather and get out there and try to catch some fish. So uh, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the water.